Hey my lovelies, it's Cassandra here with a super super uh, short short wee tip on how to feel inspired, particularly how to find your inspiration. So if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I believe that inspiration is what lights you up. It's what fills you if you think about it in spirit inspiration so that's why i've always been a big fan of following your passion and purpose particularly passion or joy i think because it's such an emotional heart-based connection it's um not something you can cognitively choose that's why we can pick frauds when they talk about one thing and they seem to be evoking some sort of conviction to something but it, it doesn't really the mind and the heart aren't aligned and so Anita Roderick once said we communicate with passion and passion sells so I've certainly found that when I've turned up for my painting or also like when I write my books they're all all uh, because I'm actually most of the time creating stuff to inspire myself and I think that has a resonance I'm not creating stuff to market in, in the perspective of a, I'm not creating something saying, oh, what can I make that people will buy? And I found that lately with my beeswax paintings. In fact, you know, I wasn't even trying to sell my these large scale paintings. The inspiration was being inspired by another artist, uh, Helen Frankenthaler from the 50s, who did tremendously big large scale works and used a lot of fluidity and flow. And so I was inspired by her, but I wanted to create my own signature pieces and I've been working with beeswax. So uh, what happened was someone came to the studio and loved a small work I had and asked me to make it bigger. Then I started working on this bigger piece and somebody came in for a different reason to the studio and loved it and wanted to buy it on the spot, which led to another commission. And then a week later, someone else came into the studio and um, and remember, this is during COVID when not many people were moving around and the gallery was, I just put on, because the other quote is, uh, that I love is Picasso. I find um, quotes inspiring and it was inspiration has to find us working. So I made a call just to open the gallery thinking in my mind, no one will come, but I'm going to show up anyway. And Isabella Lende, a Chilean writer, says, show up, show up, and the muse shows up too. So what happened was I opened the gallery just for a tiny little moment, and uh, someone who had visited a year ago came in, saw the big large-scale beeswax, and also commissioned a piece, So, which is one I'm working on currently. So my message to anyone out there who is thinking, how can I feel inspired, particularly during these very... Um, history will show how we have been completely manipulated by fear for other people's agendas. Fear is a very dense, low vibration, and it is actually makes people ill. Whereas love, inspiration, so what inspires me is to create things of beauty that uplift people. I'm not going to be known on this planet as somebody who keeps saying, you know, this whole war on health thing that, you know, the enemy is coming. That's no way to talk about health as though it's some sort of mass army um, that's just a terrible way and because of my background in health and psychology i know that that is no way to talk to people if you want them to be healthy and strong and create resilience this is creating tremendous anxiety so the other thing that um, on that note about inspiration is uh, i think alanis morris said again another quote and she said that it was also around um, joy and anger are the two strongest emotions that inspire her creativity and she said she could create anything from those two emotions because they're so extreme joy and anger you know they're very powerful emotions so you know, I like to transform something that is sad or that makes me angry into something that's beautiful. Uh, so that's what inspires me. So you might want to look at, here's five things to take away to help you to find your inspiration. What just gets you going? In my book, How to Find Your Passion and Purpose, I talk about uh, 
what makes you angry and not just to be an angry kind of raging person but how can you transform that and do something purposeful so for example Nelson Mandela he, he showed up for rights human rights he could have gone really angry about being put in prison all that time but he showed up the Dalai Lama shows up he his people have been evicted from Tibet and he's showing up for loving kindness um, many people, Gandhi, showed up for peace and peaceful protest um, and, uh, you know, through the anger of ha having um, India occupied and ruled by the British, he, he created a peaceful resistance. So that's an example. Number two is just what lights you up. So look at what lights you up. For me, it's nature, the beauty of a flower, a sunrise. Many of my paintings are inspired. In fact, Here's one that I've sold, um, it's a little print that I created, um, and that was just the beauty of a peony and the beauty of colour, so that's another tip, what does light you up? The things that light you up are, they're emotional things, it's not again a cognitive, oh I think I'll be lit up by a flower, it's your thing. So that's the second thing. The third thing is um, think about who you really are and your core essence. So inspiration, everyone's inspired by different things. So think about who you are. You, I'm Libran, so I'm inspired by beauty and harmony and also truth. So what, what are you inspired by? Coco Chanel was a Leo and, and so many things um, that she created were inspired by this, this fierceness of her star sign. And many of her iconic designs were inspired by also her love of the number five. And that's this third thing. The fourth thing is uh, think about your deepest held values. So inspiration is also what is meaningful to you? What is um, what resonates now? Our values can shift. So right now, part of our value definitely become more clear around freedom and um, perhaps before it became a lower scale because it just seemed taken for granted and now I'm fighting for that so we're just in the process of re-evaluating all of our lifestyle choices so that we can get more freedom and be away from the tyranny of control and just look at one of my blog posts the other thing that you could do is go along to my website cassandragaysford.com put inspiration in the search bar and you'll find a whole bunch of uh, articles, helpful articles. In fact, one that I've written recently called What Makes You Happy from my best-selling Amazon book, Midlife Career Rescue, What Makes You Happy, is noticing what makes you feel fully alive and animated. So you might just tune into your body barometer, keep a passion journal or a, not a notice when you just, wow, you just feel alive because so often we miss that particularly if we're anxious, depressed, or feeling flat, there, there will be moments, inspiration, you know, instead of like our Prime Minister saying, you know, the, the, the winter is coming and uh, the enemy is coming. Well, inspiration is coming. Inspiration is looking for you. Inspiration is everywhere. So this has been Cassandra, the Joyful Artist, and I hope this has been helpful for you. I would love your comments. Please follow, if you're watching this on YouTube, please follow, subscribe, share, like, hit the like button, and um, let's show up more for joy, love, passion, bliss, and positive high vibration feelings. Thanks a lot. See you soon.